we created this chat application and if we just refresh this it will show with the multiple room options and when we join a new room it would uh, add it into this available room list and if we open the same thing in a different browser and if we join a different uh, room we would be prompted like this and if we try to write any message it would be sent like this but if we are not in the same room we are not able to receive into this so if we join at the same room with the different one now we would able to receive the message like this and uh, this is hello from Rome and it would be received in this edge and this is welcome to edge and it would be received here as well so that's how we can uh, create a uh, multiple chat rooms application and we are not further leaving the room because we are already left the room and inside the edge we can leave the room or we don't have any room now. okay so and that's how it is working and inside our node.js server site file we have this server.js file and inside this file we are creating an express server and with the socket.io we are generating a random username with this and uh, the connection is generated and inside this connection the rooms uh, we emit the first of all we emit a rooms function which will uh, render all the available rooms and uh, the joint room function inside this join room function we can join a new room we have a global list of available rooms here and uh, when we join a new room we socket dot join the room and the socket dot room is uh, uh, changed to this room and we generate a random username and we have that username inside our uh, socket dot username and uh, if we don't have any room um, we change this information and add a user if we have we add a user to a new room and we emit a function which we receive on the client side and we also emit a join room function so these are two functions uh, that we emit and if we leave uh, the room we emit socket dot on leave event and if there is a room we leave that room and we minus the rooms list and we delete a room and we met the list we are also disconnect when we disconnect a user we also emit a rooms event as well and leave, socket dot leave and uh, when we receive a message we shift information socket dot id as a username we can pass the username as well uh, we can uh, do the message and room uh, with the room name and i console log the information as well and we are just passing the port of 3000 if we don't have any port information in process.nv folder inside the client on the client side we have index.html file we just dis, uh, displayed it with the tailwind css we beautify it with the tailwind css and uh, this is how we are having a message information and uh, we have a div for the message list and we have a form div with the input and a button submit button and we also have a model uh, for uh, creating a new ROM and we are using a socket.io library and inside our js folder we have app.js file this is our app.js file and inside that we have information of update room list as well as uh, uh, we create a message item and if we are self we are just changing the background color to green and if we are not self it we leave it for the gray and also changing the orientation uh, uh, alignment of the justification to start or end we creating this div element for the chat also we 
uh, have this message for set active room I uh, I will also create a detailed tutorial about this on my Udemy course so if you want to see that just leave a comment I'm also planning to create a new tutorial to rewrite this front end on my uh, react application so I created a client for the react as well so if you want to see that video please also leave a command one more thing that I'm planning in the upcoming tutorial is that I'm planning to create a web RTC audio video calling so if you want that tutorial please uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get the upcoming video notification so let's move to the model.js file inside the model we have a show model function and the hide model we just uh, when we want to hide we just have a add a hidden uh, class element and inside the show model we are queuing some divs and we are just create adding values to that divs and just hitting a click event and which will emit a joint room event with the room name from the model input value and we hide the model afterwards the heavy working of the room management is done in the room list.js file inside the room list we first of all have our update join room list event and inside that function we are just updating a new row and removing the old rooms and we are updating the current room a button and inside the current rooms we uh, just get current room and uh, from that and reduce it to the display information inside the update new rooms we are just updating these rows and uh, after we have updated the existing room item so if we are into uh, this uh, we are uh, already created room we just update that information with the number of users so uh, if we want to remove an old item we can simply uh, query select and uh, remove uh, if you want to update the create room button that we are doing we just uh, changing the title with the create new room or join or create room uh, this function could be leave without touching it create room item HTML and we are just updating the HTML information so that's all for this video if you want to see more uh, check out the comments or description section where I'm leaving my blog post uh, with the previous series where I created a simple a single room chat application as well as this multi room chat application and a Udemy course link uh, with the each step you built with me uh, also I'm upcoming planning to uh, change this front end to react and uh, also add a sign in or sign up functionality in my course i will keep it posted and updated stay tuned thank you